Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you thrifting with me to two thrift stores. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to open some friend mail packages. So if you like this kind of content, I would love it if you join me here on my channel by hitting subscribe. I upload thrifting decor and DIY videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. Hello, I am here in Richfield, which is basically Minneapolis. I'm on Penn Avenue. I'm going to head into American League Thrift Store. I think I've taken you in here before. Um, this was the thrift store where I found my cutie little um, Halloween cat that I, I filled. He was like a crazy cat and I filled his um, hat with his head with some like florals and it was very cool as part of my Halloween display. So I don't always find things here, but I'm going to see what they have. And then right down the street is um, another thrift store called Arc Valley Village. That's a bigger one and um, they're pretty close together. So I'm going to see if I find anything in either one, either to keep or to resell. So let's go in and see what we find. a treat spin but it's not the right color mm, I want something white with black This is adorable. Oh man. No way not to pay nine dollars. That is so cute. Okay, their prices have definitely gone up here. Okay, they are basically, they have turned their shop into a vintage shop. It's never been like that before. Those prices were, I mean, fine for what they were, but I'm not going to pay those prices. So I will not be returning here. I'm guessing maybe it's under new management. I've never, it's never been that high before. So we're going to pass on that and head to Arc Value Village and see if there's anything good there. Okay, the parking lot is really busy. I'm guessing it's going to be busy inside. So we'll see, we'll see how it is.
that looks like Johnson Brothers, but it's not. Okay, um, I really didn't find a lot. Actually, really, I found one thing for myself and one thing for my hubby. I'm just gonna show you right here because it's not even worth doing an entire haul video. I found this for my hubby. It's a comic book, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe. You know, he's a comic book collector. There were other comic books, but I called him and we FaceTimed and there wasn't anything that he needed for his collection. So. Got him that for 79 cents. And then I got, this is a good deal. I got one of my plates for 99 cents. So now I have seven. It's the Gibson every day. And you see the one, two, three, four little, I guess the edge and then three ridges. So that is the plate collection that I'm trying to uh, come up with a full set. You know, it's a challenge. It's fun to try to to collect them in this way. So I may actually go to the bins because I'm feeling rather unfulfilled by my thrifting today and I was hoping for a better thrifting day. So that might be a final stop or I might end the video here. If you don't hear more from me, it's because I decided not to go to the bins. Otherwise, I'll take you into the bins with me and we'll see what we can get there. So, okay, I am not at the bins. I came home instead because I stopped at the post office and found three large packages of friend mail at the post office. So I decided I'm just gonna go home and open those and that'll make up for my um, my lack of finds in my thrifting today. So I'm just gonna tack that onto the end of this thrift with me video. So let's go ahead and see what I got in my friend mail packages. All right, so I'm sitting here on my stairs again. It's easier for me to do it here and then it's easier like put the stuff away rather than bring it all the way into my family room. So, all right, so I hope you enjoyed thrifting with me. It was a rather unsuccessful um, day of thrifting, 
but that's okay. Um, not every day. You can't find treasures every day. I have this first package and it comes to me from, oh, this is a cool card. It's like homemade paper. That's very cool. Her name is Diana. She watches my channel. Oh, very sweet. It's fragile and she hopes it did not get damaged. Oh, I hope so too. Okay, order, open an order. You'll probably want to film after you open. Oh, well, well, let's just see. Okay, number one. Okay, so this is the first one I'm opening. Let's see. Oh, I know why she said that, because they're really taped, so I bet that's, I'm guessing that's why she said that. So I might edit some of this, I might edit some of the ripping out. Oh, she wrote to me. <gasps> I don't have any of these. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Look at that, it's a little Holly Hobby figurine. I have never seen these. Holly Hobby, Christmas Greetings, Designers Collection, American Greetings. Keepsake figurine for Christmas 1983. Aw, I was seven. <gasps> I love it, that's so cute. And I don't have any of these, nor have I ever seen Holly Hobby figurines. That's so cool. Number three, Ooh. number two. Okay, got it open. It's a summery one. I love this. These are so, so cute. This one's called Sunshine Fun Time. One of three designs in the Holly Hobby Precious Moments Collection Series 4. Look it up online, but oh my gosh, this is adorable. And um, you know I love ocean themed things and beach themed because I am an ocean girl. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open the third one. I'm guessing it's another one. I'm gonna pause because these are wrapped really well. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. And I think all of these are like Holly Hobby and Amy because Amy is her best friend. <gasps> Look, they're building a snowman. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this one. So this has Holly Hobby limited edition Christmas 1976. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna keep going here. All right, here's a little box. It says number four. Ooh, it's so fun. Little, little crumbs to follow. <gasps> oh, so cute. She's with bunnies. This is Holly Hobby too. Oh my goodness. I've definitely never seen any of these. <gasps> so with bunnies, I can use those for springtime or summertime. Oh, I love having them like through the season. That's so, so fun. Oh, she might be a bell. Yeah, I hear it. Cute, she's holding a little flower. So, so cute, oh my goodness. Adorable. Adorable. All right, and I think that's it. Oh my goodness, those were so cute. I love them, Diana, thank you so much. This one is coming to me from, oh, okay. Okay, I won't say where from, but her name is Jennifer. Oh my goodness, what is this box? Holy cow, look at this box. It's so cute. I love reproduction boxes that are adorable. This is definitely getting saved. All right. Oh, it's a little treasure trip. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, I love this. Holy cow. It's a strawberry recipe tin. You know I want all the recipe tins. All the recipe tins, all the thermoses, and all the vintage Santas I can come up with. That's Those are my all kind of categories. Milk glass, I'm like, oh, uranium glass, no. Nah. But those things I want all. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, these are so cute. I need a little sip of my drink. This was the best thing about Penn Avenue thrifting today the Dunkin' Donuts. <gasps> These are adorable. These will go so perfectly in my little, I guess it's like a Scandinavian German wooden village that I set up with. Oh my gosh. So adorable. So, so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Oh, this reminds me of the Kurt Adler one that I have. It's not marked, but I put one that looked not the same, but similar under a cloche this Christmas. And I have another one that is adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, so cute. And look at this. 
Oh my goodness. He is so cute. So I love little tiny things. There's a little bear. He's adorable. Oh, this goes with my, I don't know if I think I showed it. I have a, tele, a vintage telephone ornament and a vintage clock ornament. And they're kind of like this. They're white with like fabric on them. So this will match perfectly with those. That will definitely go on my vintage ornaments tree. Adorable. Oh, that's cute. Love it. Aha. Uh -huh. That's adorable. A little crocheted pair or knitted. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's knitted. Maybe it's crocheted. I don't know. I'm sure one of you will let me know. Oh, these are so cute. Little ornament. Adorable. Oh my goodness. What am I? Oh my goodness. What? I can't believe she sent these to me. Ah, okay, I'm selfish. I would never part with a box of these. They're amazing. Holy cow, I love these. I love these so much. Oh, look at my couple. They're like, what on earth is our mom doing? We don't understand what's happening. <laughs> They're so funny. Okay, I love this. It's so cool. Oh, how cute. Oh my goodness. Wait, it's a mouse and a cat. These are so cute. <sighs> Look at these, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these felt ornaments with the beads. Chris's grandma used to make a lot of these. I love them. Actually, one of my favorite ornaments is a Tin Man. That's like with the felt and the stuffing and some little sequins on it, love it. This is so cute. She's an ice skater, but you know what? In Minnesota, it's still cold in March. I might keep this out for um, St. Patrick's Day because that is, I know it's an ice skater, but I don't have a lot of green and she's really cute. So I'm gonna set her over here so she doesn't get packed with Christmas. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. That's a spun, uh, spun cotton head thing, I think. So cute. Oh, I love all of these things. I guess from a corn husk. Adorable. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at these things. Oh my gosh. Guys, I love vintage Christmas in a way that I I probably shouldn't. I, I mean, I just love it so much. It's just so great. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. I love this. Holy cow. This is so cool. Okay. So it's, you know, the vintage greenery, but then it's got the pink. This is pink. I, it might be coming off red, but it's actually hot pink. Holy cow. How much do I love this? Oh my gosh. So cute. And then I don't know if you can see the leaves. That's what they look like. Adorable. Okay. Jo oh my gosh. Look at this box. The box alone would have been enough. Is it soaps? Yep. Or is it candles? <gasps> it's candles. Yeah, it's candles. They just, they smell good. Oh, how cute, Jay. Oh, he's climbing through the O. Isn't that cute? Ah, <laughs> that is so cute. And then the little Y. It's so cute that the fronts and backs are both cute. That'll be adorable in my little cubbies next year. All right. Oh, I put that in the wrong one. It's like a puzzle, Nicole. How on earth? Why am I having so many struggles with this? Oh, so cute. I love that. And let's see. It says um, Avon 1984. So adorable. So cute. Oh, it's actually way better um, when you pull it out than it is in the box, but so adorable. Isn't that cute? Daisy, what do you think? <laughs> so cute. I love that. Adorable. Okay. And there's one, oh, there's a little stand. It comes with a little stand. Oh, you're coming to say hi, Daze? 
You're not gonna be able to get past me, my love. All right, <gasps> these are cute. <gasps> They're honeycombs. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna open them right now, but I will open them. I'm not a collector like that. Daze, what do you think? Do you approve? She's, she's not sure what to think, but oh my goodness. So there are uh, one, what is there, six? Three of each, three of each. So cute, yay. Okay, and one last thing. Oh my goodness, what is, oh, he's so adorable. It's a little Santa ornament made in Hong Kong. And you know, it looks like glass. It's actually not glass, but it looks like it. I could hang this on my kitchen window. That window you're looking at actually is where I hang a lot of my stained glass things, and this would be perfect on my window. Ugh. Well, that was a super fun box of Christmas treasures. Thank you so much. Okay, this one's coming to me from a friend named Ellen. Let it open. There's a long note, so I'm not gonna read that right now. Please feel free to throw my pass. Throw away, no, no, no. Pass on or sell anything you don't want. A little info about some of these items. Okay, so I will read the info she sent as I go. So the first thing I see I love, holy cow, it's an enamel picture, oh my goodness. And she says, I was raised on a cattle ranch here in California. My, my father was a cowboy handyman and part of his wages was a milk cow that he milked every morning and every night. The milk was strained through a cloth into gallon jars. This pitcher was used at mealtime to serve the milk. Yes, I was raised on raw milk and lived to talk about it. To this day, I detest the taste of pasteurized milk. I'm sorry, this is getting me teary because um, this is someone who um, sent me their family treasures and as a person who doesn't really, um, my own parents, you know, my mom passed away and my dad lives in Texas and we don't have a ton of contact. So this is very special. So thank you. I love this. Thank you very much. I'm gonna open some, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my God, your little tiny flock deer. Are these not the sweetest things ever? Holy cow. I absolutely adore them. I love these. These are probably going to go somewhere and just stay out all year. Oh, how cute. I saw something about a rocking horse. All right. she was. It was in a DIY from her friend in the 80s. So cute. Oh, that's adorable. Little angel. That's cute. A little dove. It's like a, someone made it. It's like clay or something. So cute. These are adorable. Did I show you the picture? I got so emotional. I don't even know if I showed it really. Look at this. That is amazing. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Like a real old enamel picture with all the, the little nicks that we try to achieve with paint. <laughs> Here they are live in person. That's very cool. Okay. Oh, oh, these are so cute. Mini Pepsi Cola bottle. Oh my goodness, those are adorable. Um, I will put these over in my bottle collection on the desk. Those are very cool. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. It's Mr. and Mrs. Claus giving each other a kiss. Holy cow, that's adorable. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. I love it. Very, very cute. Oh, pretty. That's beautiful. A little like trinket dish. Birds. Oh my goodness. That's gorgeous. That can stay out all year. Oh, oh, and they look like almost like postcards. Hmm. I wonder if I have a way to hang these. These would be pretty hanging on a wall to figure that out. Some of my plate hangers might work. Maybe I need small plate hangers to do it, but I think that would be really cool. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Oh, I love these. They'd be really pretty, like one, two, three in a row or across the top of a door, a door frame. Cute. All right. Keep going here. It's a pretty full box. Oh my goodness. How adorable is that? 
fun to cook cookbook. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. And let's see if we can find a year. 1955, what? This is fantastic. I will look in um, my letter to see if there's any information about it. I'll do that in a second, but. Ooh, a little bird tray. That is so cute. Love it. Craft shop, North Florida, Kent. Oh, it's from England. Interesting. So cute, and that is a chickadee. Black cap chickadee. So cute, let me put that with my other bird things. Oh my goodness. I love that. I love that. Holy cow, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's McCoy. I have a picture. I have a McCoy picture to match. I thought this looked familiar. Oh, that'll be such a nice set for the summertime. That's what I bring out my... Oh my goodness. Look. I love this. You know what's funny? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I found ones very similar to they didn't have orange in them at the bins the other day. So now I have a set of three of them. Holy cow. I mean, it's not, it's not the same exact, but it's definitely related. But this one has recipe cards in it. Oh, it has recipes in it. What? Okay, I know there must be a story about that. So I will check the list in a second. That is amazing. All right. And a little cup to go with the pitcher. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Those are phenomenal. Real farmhouse. Oh, look at these little spoons. Those are cute. Okay, and they say, hmm, am I gonna be able to read it? Oh, Japan. I cannot read it. And I have to look a little more carefully later, but they are super adorable. And there's um, a whole set. There's one, there's like eight, six or eight. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of them and they come in this cutie little container. So that's really cute. All right, McCoy, you go over here where you're not gonna get broken. Oh, I see linens and I'm gonna wait to do the linens. <gasps> what? goodness she sent me fly rags holy cow this looks so good with my one that I just got the other day the snowflake pattern it's on the top of my cabinets with three enamelware coffee pots pitchers whatever you call them oh my god I love this so much yes that is so cool all right and last but not least we have a whole bag Ooh. oh there's um crochet hooks um, all right, and we've got some linens here. What is this? Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. I could definitely use that on a tabletop for um, springtime. It has like little chickies and flowers. So cute. Oh, a little strawberry pin cushion. Oops. And then, oh my goodness, all these crochet doys. These are going to be so great in my decor for the different seasons. So this will probably be late August with my sunflower stuff and into fall. This one I'll probably use now somewhere because it's got the green and the cream. It'll be great for my winter decor. What are these? These are so cute. I don't know. Maybe there's some info about They look like little crocheted clothing. They're so cute. Yeah, I'll put those out with my um, St. Patrick's Day. I'm trying to gather, you know, some green things for St. Patrick's Day. All right, and oh, a needle pack. Oh my goodness, I love these things. So cute. Best made needles, 100 assorted gold and silver eye needles with a threader. Oh my goodness. And oh, Woolworth. That's so cool. We had Woolworth out where I live. So cool. And oh my goodness, look at that. This is a needle. This is for needles too. It's a little purple bonnet. Holy cow, that's cute. That is adorable. Holy cow. Oh, 
goodness gracious, this is so much better than going to the bins. I want to read the stories. Hold on. Hold that thought. Okay, we have some stories to go with what I just opened. The measuring cup was used until my mother was introduced to Tupperware. The recipe box was my mother's. She said, I decided to leave the recipes with the box. It just felt wrong to separate them. Well, I am going to try some of those recipes. The cookbook was a gift from my sister. Not sure when, but it mo must have been the late 50s. It was published 55. Crochet hooks, the silver ones were my mother's. The rest were mine. Okay. The angel is Hallmark from 1983. That's the little blue angel. She doesn't know the story about, oh, she doesn't know the story about the green and yellow crocheted clothes, but they were always in her mother's sewing stuff. She apologizes for the condition of the purple bonnet. What? It's adorable. I love it. I was unsure how to clean it, so I thought um, I would let you decide if you, of course I want to keep it. Oh my goodness. I would never toss it. It's adorable. I'm not even sure what, what there is to apologize for. It's adorable. A little needle book. It's amazing. The Wool Woolworth needle card is damaged, but I thought the graphic of the Woolworth building was cool. Yep, absolutely. Okay, my pages got out of order. The Rocking Horse we read. Glass plates are a recent purchase 10 years ago. She says, I don't think they're your style, but maybe you could sell them. What? I love them. I'm not selling them. The Pyrex dish. I also apologize for what? Why are you apologizing for sending me Pyrex? I swear I had the lid, but for the life of me, I can't find it. The dish is your color. It absolutely is. So I, I thought I'd send it along anyway. Oh my goodness. I love it. Well, thank you so, so much. No need to ever apologize for presents. Oh my goodness. I love everything. That's all that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for coming along thrifting with me and then sitting with me as I opened my friend mail packages. I hope you've enjoyed this type of content. If you do, I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. I upload thrifting decor and DIY videos and I'd love to have you join me here. Until my next video, have a great day.